okay now i'm going to tell you how to convert decimal number into a binary number using right shift operator right shift operator is a bitwise operator as you know and it operates on two binary numbers okay so i'm starting the program okay so first i will tell you some results about right shift operator okay so if this is 4 and this is a symbol for right shift operator and this is 1 then the result of this will be 4 divided by 2 to the power 1 that is 2 okay and when we have 4 right shift operator 2 that will be one of course because it will be 4 divided by 2 to the power 2 4 right shift operator 3 will be 0 as far as integer is concerned the result will be 0 okay and now i am starting the program first time declaring some variables decimal number a variable var okay now i'm displaying a message on screen okay and now user will input the decimal number now i will display a message on the screen is the binary equivalent is okay now suppose that i want to display the binary number into 32 bits then i need to run a loop 32 times and for this i'm using a for loop and i'm starting this from 31 i will take this loop up to 0 okay and inside this loop actually i need to calculate this value decimal number right shift operator i okay and i need to store this value into the variable var okay uh why i'm doing this is because uh, suppose that a decimal number the user ent- has entered 4 okay at place of decimal number and for the first time value of i will be 31 so var is going to be 4 divided by 2 to the power 31 that of course is going to be zero okay so the leftmost bit is now zero so uh, okay if it is one we need to display it also and now what we need to do uh, we need to have a condition which will check that uh, this var okay this var is zero or one uh, actually so what we can do is we can use a bitwise and operator here and we will do the and of this with one okay okay if the result comes out to be true okay it means the value of var has to be you know at the last position the last in decimal numbers i am talking about the decimal numbers so the last position of the var has to be one so if that is one i need to display one okay and if that is not one i need to display zero okay now i am i am just uh, displaying a new line here
okay and then returning from this main function right so here i completed my code and now i will display the output okay there are no errors enter the decimal number suppose i enter 4 okay i get, i got its binary equivalent as this okay you can see the last three bits okay which is 100 and that is representing 4 as i am entering 15 so it should contain four ones okay and the last one you can see this is representing 15 okay similarly if i enter 200 i got its binary equivalent as this